Hello, my name is Andrew Duffy, and I work in the physics department at Boston University. And my name is Peter Garrick. I too am a physicist, but I am also a science educator in the School of Education of Boston University. We would like to introduce you to a course on edX that is especially designed for high school physics teachers. This course, Force in Motion, is based on a course we've been running for Boston area teachers since 2004. It is the first of a 10 course sequence known as the ITOP program. ITOP stands for Improving the Teaching of Physics. These physics courses are designed to improve the content knowledge and pedagogical content knowledge of teachers teaching physics with varying background preparation in physics and physics teaching. One important component of the course is the physics content. This course is mainly about motion, so we'll start with motion in one dimension, explaining how things move, and then move on to forces, which help us understand why things move. Then we'll expand to two dimensions, looking at projectile motion and understanding forces in two dimensions, especially the role of friction. We'll then go on to take an in-depth look at momentum and energy and apply conservation laws to help us understand the behavior of physical systems. At Boston University, we also teach an AP Physics 1 course on edX, and we will use a lot of the same physics content here in this course. That means this course does not use calculus. The material includes some nice online labs, including some based on direct measurement videos, which is a very nice tool to use in an online environment. All these things you can use in your own classroom to enrich the experience of your students. This is a graduate level course in the College of Arts and Sciences at Boston University because in addition to the physics content, we combine two more components of a deep understanding of physics and the learning of physics. Assignments will include readings from primary and secondary sources of the conceptual history of physics and from the physics education research literature. We will find that there is a strong correspondence between students' naive conceptions in physics and historical theories and models in physics. The combination of a review of the physics of force and motion with readings from the conceptual history of the development of dynamics and the research literature on the problems students have with learning kinematics and dynamics is intended to provide you, as a physics teacher, with the opportunity to reflect on how to teach physics and more broadly, science. Which means, no matter what your level of experience is as a physics teacher, there should be things in this course that will help you grow as a teacher. We hope that you will join us in this online force and motion adventure, and we look forward to working with you.